This developing story also in Cobb County. A father is charged with leaving his son to die in a hot car. I know you've heard about this case. Well, Justin Harris is charged with murder, but the debate continues on whether or not this could have been an accident. CBS 46's Renee Starzik is live outside the Cobb County Jail. Renee, some mental health experts say that Harris's state of mind is really the key in all of this. That's right. The court of public opinion seems to have convicted Justin Harris well before his trial. But a psychologist I talked to says you never know what's going through someone's mind at any given moment. They don't get to show, you know, you see the pictures of the baseball game. You don't get to show the Sundays they went to church. You don't get to show the times that he, that he played with his kid in the floor. A licensed psychologist who's worked with parents, Eric Fisher, says people have been quick to judge Justin Harris. He admitted leaving his 22-month-old son Cooper in his hot car all day where the toddler died. So if he's in a pattern of going to work, or let's say that while he's going to work, he's also reading his phone and doing these things that take him away from the moment, it's very easy easy in a few seconds to lose track of what just happened and that my son's in the car because again his attention is shifted to something else. That something else may have been the double life Harris led according to police. Detectives say he was sexting women while his son was in the hot car. Fisher says he may have been addicted to sexting and it threw him into a world removed from reality. He may have lived his life to be this good, strong, and right person, a person of religion and faith that had to hold this image up to the world, while inside he had these other issues that were brewing and growing that ended up being presented in this. Harris remains locked up here at the Cobb County Jail. Fisher says we don't know if he and his wife left their son in the car before, maybe by mistake. That might explain the internet research the couple did on hot car deaths. We'll have more on that coming up tonight at 6. We are live in Marietta. Renee Starzik, CBS 46.